Hey there everybody, what's going on? It's Austin from Boston. Welcome to to the GT1000 Ultimate Guide video series. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to update the firmware in your GT1000. Now, updating the firmware is not only important for the performance of your GT1000, but you also get a bunch of new and fun features along with that. First thing you wanna do is you wanna confirm the current version firmware that you're on. To do this, we simply power off our GT1000, press and hold exit, and then turn on the power simultaneously while holding exit. And now the process for updating it is the exact same way for every version firmware. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna click OK. We wanna put our GT1000 in updater mode. And to do this, you simply turn off the power again, press and hold right, and then turn on the power, and your GT1000 screen should look like this. You wanna get your computer, and then you wanna get your USB cable, so once you got your computer and your GT1000 plugged in, you should see the GT1000 come up as a flash drive on your computer. So now we can go to the boss.info website and we can go ahead and download the firmware update files that we need to get the GT1000 up to date. And then there is a downloads tab below the GT1000 in there and that's where we're gonna find our firmware. If this version number is higher than the current number that you have on your GT, it's ready in time for that update. Once you've downloaded the GT1000 system firmware upgrade from the website, you're gonna wanna go ahead and unzip that folder and once the folder opens up you're gonna get a bin file we're gonna take that bin file we're gonna click and drag it into our GT1000 uh, flash drive the update will then upload and we can then eject the GT1000 from our computer we can then disconnect the GT1000 and then your screen should look like this you go ahead and press right and then you wait for the little light dance to continue and the update is uploading don't turn off the GT1000 at this time just be nice and patient with the update and it'll go in there safely Now this is the exact same process for a Windows computer. The exact same way you unzip the files and you drag and drop them into the GT1000's flash drive on your computer. Now the screen on your GT1000 should look like this once the update is complete. You power off the GT1000 and then you turn it back on. And now you should see the firmware version pop up on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. If you don't see that number pop up, you can always go ahead and do the confirm firmware version process that we did at the beginning of this video. Totally not necessary, but I always like to perform a factory reset just in case there's any bugs that need to be worked out with the system. So we go ahead, we go to menu, we page over once to see factory reset. And then we just press right and then okay and the fat and the system will reset itself and i know what you're thinking your patches might disappear it might not work don't worry if you use boss tone studio over usb and you backed up your patches you will be able to drag in your old patches from previous firmware into the new firmware learn more about boss tone studio and how to connect gt1000 to that you can go and watch the how to connect my mac pc and with an app to the GT1000. And that's how you update the firmware in the GT1000. Thanks so much for watching. See ya.